Hey everyone, it's Ali Lundy here from One Number. We're Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And today we're going to take a look at dynamic zone visibility. This is a super cool feature that allows you to swap worksheets in a dashboard while taking along or preserving any filters, legends, parameters that were included in those worksheets. It might not sound like much, but you'll know if you tried to swap worksheets in Tableau dashboards before this came out, that that was actually really hard to do. Dynamic zone visibility makes it so easy for us. What we're going to do today is walk through a pretty fundamental example of how dynamic zone visibility works. But I do just want to say that this is a feature that people are using to do really incredible things. Check that out on Tableau Public. You'll be inspired to see how it all works out. If you want to follow along with us today, this dashboard, this uh, whole workbook is included in the description down below. So download that, uh, open it up. You don't have to rebuild anything and uh, you can kind of follow along as we're going. So let's take a look at what we're working with today. We've got three worksheets. The first is a scatter plot looking at uh, our products, profit and sales. We've got a segment filter over here and a category color legend. Here we've got a pretty simple bar chart, but we can swap between our profit and our sales using a parameter. If you want to know how to swap fields using a parameter, check out the video that we done on that. It's in the description below. And then we've got classic text table with a filter that's, that allows us to select the states or provinces that we want to see. So we want to create a dashboard where you can swap between those and preserve all those filters, legends, parameters as you do so. So we've got a DZV dashboard uh, set up, just a nice blank canvas for us, but we're actually not going to start on the dashboard. We're going to go back to one of our sheets and create the parameter that our end users are going to interact with to allow them to choose the sheet that they want to see. So let's hit the drop down at the top of the data pane and create that parameter. I'm going to call this select a sheet, something nice and clear, change my data type to string, allowable values to a list. And here I'm just going to type in the names of the sheets. So I've got a scatter plot, I've got bars, and I've got text. Let's hit OK. Let's show that parameter that's over here. Of course, it does nothing, right? Because we haven't connected that parameter to anything. So we're going to create some calculated fields that Tableau is going to use to, to know when to display which worksheet. Now, dynamic zone visibility uh, is dependent on some Boolean fields, right? So what we need to do is create these calculated fields in such a way that they either return a yes or a no, a true or a false. So what we're going to do is call this filter scatter plot. And I'm going to reference the parameter, the value of the parameter. So I'm going to say, okay, the select a sheet parameter equals, and now uh, let's make sure I spell this right. Then in a string, I'm going to say scatter plot. Do you see how this returns a yes or a no? Either the select a sheet parameter does equal scatter plot or it doesn't. What's so cool about that is if it does equal scatter plot, I'll be able to tell Tableau when the answer to this filter is yes show me this sheet. If the answer is no, hide the sheet. So what we need to do is just duplicate this, edit it, and do that for each sheet that we have. Okay, so let's do the same for bars. Now this is giving us a yes or no for whether the parameter equals bars. And let's make sure, oh, do not just edit, duplicate, and then edit for text. Okay, so let's set that up. Lovely. Now we're all good. We've got all the kind of bits and pieces that we need to make sure that dynamic zone visibility is going to work. So let's navigate over to our dashboard. The place that we're going to start for our dynamic zone visibility is to drag in a container. Now, if you haven't used a container in a dashboard before, I commend them to you. They're super useful. You can kind of manually dictate the height and width of that container and distribute con the contents of worksheets nice and evenly within that container, meaning order is preserved. Uh, but it also means in our case, Tableau is going to know when I'm swapping worksheets, I've got to make sure that those worksheets fit within that container nicely, as opposed to not having them in a container and they just go all over the place. So let's drag in a vertical container. 
Now our entire dashboard is a container and in that container, you can just drop in each of these worksheets. They don't have to be neat. Don't worry about resizing them too much. Uh, as long as they're in, we're good to go. Okay. Now here's where we're going to start. I'm going to click on my scatter plot field. I'm going to go over to layout and I'm going to select control visibility using value. And I'm going to choose the filter scatter plot calculated field. So now by doing this, I'm essentially saying to Tableau, oops, do you see how it's disappeared? I need to make sure my uh, select a sheet is scatter plot. Okay. So the essentially what I've said to Tableau is um, when the filter scatter plot calculation equals yes, show me the scatter plot field. Okay. So that's pretty cool when that kind of lines up with this parameter. But we say that the amazing thing about a dynamic zone visibility in your dashboard is that you can include legends, filters, and parameters. So what we're going to do is kind of take a look around our worksheet, I mean, our dashboard, and select anything else that was tied to the scatter plot. So I know that the category uh, legend was, so let's repeat the process, layout, control visibility using value, scatter plot. Okay, that's in. And the segment filter was to control visibility using value, scatter plot. Okay, so those three are all done. Now let's do the same for our bars. Click on bars, go over to layout, control visibility using value, and let's select that. Disappears. Why? Because the answer to the to our calculated field is no, right? The the filter, I mean the, the parameter select a sheet does not equal bars. So don't show me the worksheet. The select a measure parameter was part of that worksheet. So let's do bars. And finally, for the text, we're going to control visibility using value text and the state province filter with text. Lovely. I think the last thing that I'd want to do is kind of just make sure that this parameter, select a sheet parameters at the top, just so that it's clear. Um, if this is interesting to you, if you want to learn more about this, we're super excited about some of the courses that we have coming up over the next few months. I wish that I'd had these courses available to me when I started learning Tableau. So if you're interested in some specifics, like, hey, I want to learn more about just calculations, we've got a course on that. Or if you're a Tableau beginner or intermediate and you want to do just a general uh, full scale course on Tableau, come along. We'd love to see you there. You can check out those courses uh, in the link up here or down in the description. Okay, so the last thing that I would want to do uh, if this was my dashboard, setting it up properly, would just be to make sure that everything is distributed evenly within our view. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to select one of the worksheets and double click on the tab at the top. And once it goes blue, you've selected the container. Now I'm going to hit the drop down on the container and say distribute contents evenly. Okay. Now let's swap through all our sheets and see what happens. There's our bars. And do you see how the select a measure parameter is the only thing that remains? We don't have any other legends, filters, or parameters. Now let's select text. And maybe let's make sure that this is fit width, hey, um, so that that is sorted. I hope that this has been helpful. Dynamic zone visibility is amazing. Like I said, people are doing super cool things with it. If you want to learn more about Tableau, why don't you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our uh, tutorials and tips coming up. Thanks so much for joining us. Until next time.